not yet been able to locate Franco himself, but I believe I have found the one person who most certainly knows where he is. Who's that woman? That woman is the person responsible for bringing Franco into the world in the first place. That is Franco's mother. I'm a police officer. I need you to turn around right now, nice and slow. Frank, a.k.a. Franco, and his mother are former residents of Brooklyn, Stillwell Avenue and Avenue X. That's Bensonhurst. Uh-huh. And, but it appears that during his brief stint in prison, Karen Frank changed her name to Karen Anderson and moved to upstate New York, Woodstock, where she still resides today. Okay, so what, what's the connection? Did they make any contact? I, I've looked through her phone records, her financial records. There doesn't seem to be any contact, be it personal or financial. So she's not making a dime off any of his artwork? Yes, apparently not. I mean, she cashed in her pension and... It looks like she leads a pretty simple life. It's one-bedroom cottage, and a, she has a part-time clerical job. What? What? Woodstock is close enough that it could easily be a center of operations for Franco. He could be commuting back and forth and carrying out his dastardly deeds here in town. Okay, that's what I need to find out tonight. Yes, I, I guess I agree that it, this requires your immediate attention, but don't we have to advise Dante the betrayer of our findings? Why did you run? Why were you inside the Harbor View Town? Hey, don't hurt me! Don't hurt me! Yeah. What's the update on the surveillance of the building? Now that Jason's out, Franco's gonna know. He's gonna come here. We gotta be ready. Look, relax, okay? It's handled. If I were you, I'd be more worried about your friend Jason up there taking off now that we basically give him permission to, you know, escape. How many times do you need to hear this? He doesn't, doesn't want to go anywhere. He wants to bust Franco as much as we do, right? Well, you seem awfully sure about that. You know, there is one other option that you may consider. Let Jason go. Bingo. Let Franco follow him, hopefully out of the country. And if we get lucky, they kill each other. All right? Case and, closed. And no one gets reminded of your little history with Franco. You know, I'm trying to save your ass. Detective, not my own. Okay, well, then let's do it my way. We'll bust Franco by the book. I actually could have sworn I saw him earlier. What? What where? Out here. Didn't see any of your guys hanging around, by the way. He came out of the building. There was a homeless guy standing right there. Looked pretty familiar. Tried to question him, but he took off running. Caught up to him a few blocks down, but it wasn't him. I wanted it to be him. Well, it sounds like maybe you just got spooked, you know, like we were seeing things. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, I really did want it to be him. I mean, we got to catch this guy and put him away before someone else gets hurt. So you really think Jason could help us with this? Yeah, I do, to protect the people he cares about. Jason's the reason Franco started this whole mess in the first place. You join forces with a killer to catch a killer. You know, I must have missed that chapter in the police manual. Like he's got Spinelli up there right now trying to figure out where Franco is. Oh, fantastic. So you have a computer hacker doing our job for us. It's a banner day for law enforcement. You know, what makes you think that they're not up there right now planning Jason's escape? Have your feelings toward Dante the Betrayer changed since he secured Michael and your release from prison? Why should they? Well, I mean, it seems that you'll be working pretty closely together in your mutual quest to find Franco. So what? It's just, if there is any remaining animosity between you two, it seems like it could be something that Franco could exploit. I mean, he is a master of mind games. Okay, if you're asking me right now if I plan on being Dante's friend, no, it's never gonna happen but I have no choice but to work with Dante until Franco is not a problem anymore. You guys know it's a homeless guy? He ran out front. What was he doing? Just staring up at the building. I tried to question him, but he took off. I chased him down, but it wasn't Franco. Check the security footage from the building. We have a new lead, by the way. Franco's mother. Franco's mother still alive? Yeah, she changed her name to Karen Anderson and lives in Woodstock, which isn't too far from here. So Interpol can't locate this woman, but you can? Perhaps we should stop focusing on process and focus on things a little more productive. You know, Fairlulu was nearly killed by Franco, and he's still at large. It amazes me, Spinelli, how little regard you have for the law. And it amazes me that you would waste precious time worrying about proper procedure when a serial killer is on the loose okay. and the women we love are his targets. Okay, Spinelli, you know what he's right. We have a lead we need to follow up on it. Franco's mother could be the key to figure out where he is. We need to talk to her now. Okay, I'll go talk to her. You should say, no, no, I'm the one that Franco's after. 
If I'm there, we're lucky enough that he's there, it's gonna be a better chance for him to come out in the open. Which is gonna be the quickest way to end this thing. Okay, good to see you too. I'm obviously not the blonde one you were expecting. I, I apologize for my lack of excitement. I, I was, I, I was hoping to see Maximista, but I'm sorry. Please come in. Thanks. Um, where's Dante? I thought he was supposed to be supervising. Actually, you just missed Dante the, ah, uh, Dante the police officer. Uh, me and Stone Cold were following. Up on a lead that I uncovered. I, I found Franco's mother. Really? <laughs> wow. That's so weird. I've never actually pictured a sick freak like Franco having a mother. Where is she? Ah, uh, just a short car ride away in Woodstock. Um, did Dante and Jason go alone? <sighs> yes, Stone Cold insisted on it. <sighs> Not that you would, um, <laughs> answer me on this, but um, you don't think that Jason would try to knock out Dante and make a run for it? No. Uh, Stone Cold would never leave us at Franco's mercy. He has more honor than to betray his friends. Unlike Dante. <sighs> Spinelli, I... I wish you knew how much I hate that we're on the opposite sides of things. I wish that Jason and Dante could just let everything go. Maybe. I'm not comfortable with the situation either. But I, I do fear that the day approaches when you'll see that your love and trust in Dante has been sadly misplaced. I mean, Dante's actions have severely cost both young Sir and Stone Cold. Not to mention the fallout that has placed the Jackal in a prison of his own making. I've even been shutting out Maximista. Well, you seem to be recovering nicely because the flowers that you sent her today were beautiful. Flowers? I... I sent no such no, thing. No, I... That's so weird. I'm... Obviously, it must have been from a photographer that Maxi knows through Crimson. Stay quiet, let me do the talking, okay? Oh. While I respect every living creature's need to provide for himself, I don't entertain solicitors. I don't know, man. We're not here to sell you anything. Are you Karen Anderson? Why? Detective Dante Falconeri with the Port Charles Police Department. We have some questions we'd like to ask you. It's about your son. My son? There must be some mistake. I don't have a son. 